everybody, my name is Samantha and welcome to another episode of the Where's My Witches At podcast. I cannot believe it, I am actually on time. Um, <laughs> I think I got my shit together. <laughs> this podcast is going to air on the day that it is supposed to and I am recording this on a Thursday. So I did some wonderful Thursday magic with the power of Jupiter and did some luck and money manifestation spells and I am recording this podcast um, as my cauldron is still smoldering. So I thought that it would be a good time to get this done. And I'm glad I'm kind of on time. It was part of my plan today and I'm getting it, getting it together. Amazing. (laughs) So on today's episode, I really do want to talk about protection. The topic of this episode was actually planned a couple weeks back and it didn't get done. And I think the universe is pushing me to do it because I did get an email last week that was kind of alluding to that. The email um, was from one of our witchy listeners and she said, Samantha, I'm a new witch. She said, I did a spell off of TikTok and I feel like it backfired. Everything in my life is a lot of negativity that is happening to me. The spell was about love and I feel like that I'm getting quite the opposite. What did I do wrong? So I've I've heard this quite a bit uh, on different social medias of a lot of people warning um, people not to do spells off of TikTok or the internet. Now, with that being said, if you're a new witch, I can understand this being a huge concern and things not going quite as planned. If you're a seasoned witch, you kind of already know all this stuff that I am about to to, to say. So th- I'm I'm basically talking to the people who are kind of new at this, who haven't learned on how to cast a circle of protection. Now, you can't do it wrong. Um, everybody has their own way of doing it. I have my own way of doing it. Um, another seasoned witch may have their own way of doing it. So this is more of an energy thing with, with a physical presence. As much as we all would love to think that all magic is just surrounded in the love and the light and a lot of new age stuff, unfortunately, that is not true. There are a lot of negative energies that live around us that we cannot see. We cannot even imagine that they're there. Some of us are highly sensitive and we know that they're there, but we protect ourselves on a daily basis. So we know that how to keep them at bay. There is a dark side to all spirituality. And I feel like that a lot of people have gotten caught up in this love and light thing and this all these positive interactions and all these positive spells. And in reality, you can do the most positive spell in the world and something negative could creep in and really cause it to go completely haywire and backfire. So it is important to protect your space, protect your, your tools that you're working with, protect yourself. I do this with smoke and my own energy. I literally walk in a clockwise motion. And when I am done with my spell, I walk in a counterclockwise motion. Now, I have not, as I'm, I just did a spell, I have not unlocked that circle yet because I'm going to do this podcast. And I figured I just was going to keep that circle of protection just kind of still flowing because I'm in my own room and I don't want anything negative to still creep its way in while my cauldron is still smoldering. <laughs> I, it's a thing with me. It's I know it might sound corny or kooky, but that is how it is. So anytime you do a spell, anytime you do a ritual, you should always do a circle of protection. Now, I do the walk. I will walk the circle. <laughs> you can salt the circle. I do mine with smoke. You do not actually have to do that. You could actually say, draw the circle. And while you're drawing that circle, say in a repeated motion, just a circle over and over and over, just keep tracing the circle. You can do that. And while you're doing that, you can literally imagine in your energy that everything around you is protected, that there is an invisible barrier that no person, no thing, no nothing paranormal, 
nothing negative, that nothing can penetrate, nothing can cross. It is a barrier. It is a, a shield. You can do that while you're drawing the circle. A lot of people I have seen will take a small saucer plate and line it with salt, Himalayan salt, black salt, whatever, and actually draw that circle in that salt. So I've seen it done with pepper. Most commonly it's done with smoke. I've seen it done with water. The whole idea is that before you do anything, you draw this protection. You say out loud, nothing or no one can harm me. Nothing or no one is allowed in my circle unless I say. And if you invite spirit guides or deities into your circle, just always remember to undo that circle so you're not locking those deities and spirit guides in. I feel like that a lot of people, they're doing all these spells on from TikTok and all these TikTok spells are just wonderful and you know, you're, you're trusting this person that you're seeing online doing these spells. Everybody should research anything. Why are they using these herbs? Why are they using that color of candle? Why are they saying these words? You need to research that stuff. If you are new to witchcraft or any type of spirituality in general, you should always research the narrative and the wording that you're doing. And you should not do anything that does not feel comfortable with you. So if you want to do a love spell and you've got your red candle and your rose petals and your rose water and all this beautiful stuff. And you're going to write your, your incantation with a pink pen and all these things. Be sure that it feels right to you. And be sure that there is protections in place because you could do the most beautiful love spell in the world and something on the edge that is negative will get in, could get in. It, it's not always a guarantee that it'll happen, but it could get in and it could just mess things up. For the listener that wrote in, it was a love spell between her and her partner. And now they're fighting all the time. And my suggestion to her was it wasn't the spell on TikTok. There, there, there was obviously something negative lingering on the edges of her world. And that took that opportunity that when she opened that up, because you are opening something up, it's not like it's a dark realm or anything, but you are opening something up. You're opening up your mind. You're opening up your heart. When you do any kind of spell work or prayer work, you are vulnerable because you're giving yourself to the universe. So whatever was lingering in the surface of her world decided to take that opportunity to come in. So I gave her some tips on what to do to kind of undo all this. Also, the protection is for, say, other witches who are trying to hex you if there is a... Hex, and I don't really think people do this, but I know that they probably do. But if somebody has been giving you the evil eye or another witch is trying to hex you or wh whatever is happening here, you could be self-protected and unaware of all these things because you're not giving that negativity power. But as soon as you open yourself up to a certain amount of vulnerability, those negative energies can creep in. So you really should do all the protection that you can. I know that there is a lot of um, stuff on TikTok, especially. And I love TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I'm like I said, I've told people this before. I'm really bad at social media. So I'm on witch talk all the time, you know, because I'm constantly learning myself and I like to see new things and I love to see a community come together the way it has. And witch talk is beautiful for that. But you have to be, be very careful. And I have noticed on TikTok and also other social medias that they'll say, oh, well, I did a, I, I dabbled in witchcraft one time and now I see shadow people. Well, those shadow people were always there. Of course, probably now you see them because you've opened yourself up to something, not something negative. You can keep them at bay. Once you start tuning into your inner self and you start tuning into nature, you will start to notice things. They're not always bad. 
you'll just you're just more aware you're more alert and like i started to say earlier that witchcraft any kind of spirituality is not always love and light there is a dark side to things it's your choice to be in that dark side it's everybody's choice it's not that these dark things are going to get you but if you allow them to have that power then they will that's no different than your neighbor who is a negative person who always is doing things to your property if you allow that person to take up that kind of real estate in your life, then that person always wins. It's the same with any kind of negative negativity that you cannot see. If you allow it to have that real estate, then it will win. But when you are vulnerable and you're meditating and you're in your space and you really are trying to focus on the thing that you are trying to craft and you're trying to cast, you're not aware that something is trying to mess with you. So it's best to just do the protection at the beginning, and therefore that's done. They can't get in. You have already said out loud, you are not allowed here. This is my space. You cannot be here. So once you do that, everything else is great. And I think that that might have been what happened to our listener is that these some of these TikToks, they don't talk about protection. They're just like, check out this cool love spell. Check out this cool money spell. They don't say, hey, let's do a circle of protection. Let's do something to per- protect yourself. That is, uh, that I feel like that's important. And I, I don't want people to be discouraged on this type of spirituality because bad things have happened. You have to expect it, even in Christianity, even in Buddhism, whatever. There's always going to be bad things that happen because I don't care what spirituality you are doing. If you're Christian, if you're Muslim, if you're Hindu, anytime you do any type of form of prayer, evil takes its chance to come in. And you have to be aware of that. You have to protect yourself at all costs, no matter what you do. I don't care what it is. So with that being said, always protect yourself. If you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to me, witchyvibes33 at gmail.com. So I'm going to move on to social media stuff, my social media stuff. As all of you know, I have started a Discord server and... I had uh, two new people join, and they joined almost a week before I even noticed it. And I felt really sad. Like, there's only a couple people in this Discord server, and I really want it to be a really awesome community. So I do want to thank the two people that did join my server on February the 24th and 25th. And I want to apologize that I did not notice it right then and there because my Discord channel was set to default to not notify me of any activity in there unless it was a mention or whatever. And I have fixed that now. I did not realize that it defaulted to that. Um, I, I don't know how that happened. It might have just been default. It might have been something I did. I don't know. But I did not get any notifications because I am on Discord quite a bit. I collaborate uh, with family members on Discord almost three or four times a week with music. And I am on Discord all the time because it's even on my phone. So I'm able to get my messages. I'm able to see what's going on. And that particular server was not notifying me on anything. So I really um, appreciate uh, the two that came in and said their hellos and introduced themselves and I encourage more people to do that and I did post the invite link to my discord server on my Facebook Samantha G it's also in my Facebook private group that is where's my witches at podcast you're welcome anybody's welcome to join that I encourage people to join that as well if you can't find the link be sure to email me witchyvibes33 at gmail.com And I will give you the invite link to my Discord server. I really am excited about this server because I spend a lot of time on Discord. Just when I say I spend a lot of time on Discord, I spend a lot of time with it on and open. (laughs) So 
I I'm readily available on there, and I and I kind of want to be a hands on uh, host on this on this server, just like I try to be on Facebook. I want to do the same thing with Discord, and I try to be very hands on with everything. I don't want to be one of those people that I just start a page or I start a, a group and I walk away from it and I have no involvement in it at all. I don't want to be one of those people. I want to be involved. I want everybody to be involved. I really do want to be part of a community that is of like-minded people. And I feel like that Facebook and Discord, and of course, yeah, I have TikTok and, I, and I'm and i going to start redoing my TikTok videos. I really am. I'm just really bad at it. Um, <laughs> not bad at the creativity, just bad at getting it done. <laughs> and, you know, life kind of creeps up on you sometimes, but either way. Join my Discord server, uh, join my Facebook group, follow me on Facebook. And like I said, there, there's a couple people in here. The Literally, when I say a couple, I mean two. The other people that are in here are moderators and my sister and my nephew Sam. And not saying that they don't count. <laughs> they do. <laughs> but um, they are part of my little dynamic of you know podcasting here and they help me with the settings and the control of the discord server so having other people in there it makes me excited and i was so excited when i seen that i had two joins and i really hope that they log back in and i hope you guys are listening you say you're listening i hope you're listening so hello it's nice to meet you so with that being said my time is up. I know that this was kind of a, it seemed a little bit rushed and I didn't mean it to be that way. I'm still kind of, I think, running on the energy that I just did for my money and luck spell. I think it kind of invigorated me a little bit. So I'm like, oh crap, I need to go get things done. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to forget my podcast <laughs> because this is important to me. But just remember, if you have any questions about protection, these things are easily researched. They really are. There, there's a plethora of information of magical protection, and there's different types of protection. So this was the protection that you do before you, you know, before you do any kind of magical workings. There's also the self protection, and you can. There's also protection that you can make amulets and talismans and, um, you know, oils and. Uh, waters and whatever you're into. There's so many different types of protection for your home, protection for yourself. These things should be done quite um, often. I, I sage and rosemary smoke my home at least two times a week, especially if there's if I feel something negative because I'm very sensitive to certain energies. And if I feel negative energy, I, I will just do a protection. Also, if I feel an abundance of negative energy, I will not do any spell work at all. I will just be like, okay, that can I can go on hold until that negative energy that I'm feeling just kind of subsides. All right, guys, I'm so glad you're bearing with me. Uh, this is episode 21, by the way. I, I feel like that it should be more, but I, it's 21. <laughs> all right, my time is up. I am so glad you guys are listening. Remember, join my Discord. Join my Facebook group. Follow me on Facebook. Reach out to me anytime at witchyvibes33 gmail.com. Be sure to like and share this podcast. Rate it. I, I would love ratings. And remember, I do like all kinds of feedback, whether it's positive or negative. I... I will take constructive criticism all day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful witchy weekend. And on next week's episode, we are going to talk about the spring equinox, which is Ostera. And that should be a fun episode because it's on the plan. <laughs> grab your cauldrons, grab your brooms, light some candles, sip some tea, and do something witchy this week. <laughs>